Now we're talking about histology. Uh, when an, you've identified a nodule on a chest x-ray or a CAT scan, or maybe there's something in the liver, as you know, lung cancer likes to leave its home base and go to other places, we get a biopsy. And that biopsy is gonna help us two ways. One, it's gonna tell us what the origin of the, the tissue is, and two is what subtype of that uh, tumor is it. So in the case of lung cancer, we try to first identify whether it's a non-small cell or small cell lung cancer, and then within the non-small cell lung cancer grouping, which uh, consists of about 85% of all of lung cancer, there are multiple different histology subtypes. That means a pathologist looks at it under a microscope, is looking at it like you would look at artwork on the wall and trying to identify whether it's an impressionist uh, period or it's a different period uh, of time, and, and that's how they're doing it. Sometimes they'll run some basic tests that they can do in their pathology lab to help further classify one or the other histology subtypes. The most common subtype is adenocarcinoma, Again, this is just the name of a non-small cell lung cancer subtype. Uh, there are also subtypes called squamous cell cancer. And then, those, again, those are the two major types. There are then a whole host of others. You will hear terminology such as large cell carcinoma, neuroendocrine carcinoma. Uh, there's even a classification called NOS, meaning not otherwise specified. And about 10 to 15% of the time we can see this. What does that mean? Well, it still means it's lung cancer, and it usually means it's non-small cell lung cancer, but they, there was not enough tissue or the architecture was not preserved enough during the biopsy procedure that the pathologist can completely classify this tumor. And uh, that's problematic because now we have therapies that are specifically tailored for some patients who have adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. There are not as many therapies out there tailored for uh, the large cell or neuroendocrine tumors. And again, these just represent different cell types that exist in the lung, and those are the ones that decide to grow and become misbehaving, and they evolve into a cancer, and, and that's why they have their particular names.